right? Mm -hmm. Having the power to believe and trust. Yes. Having the power to believe and trust. So would you want to elaborate about and that? that for me, I was thinking on the point when Yahweh told Cain that sin lacked at the door, but he can overcome it. But when we look at the physical in the in the physical around us, it seems impossible for us to overcome certain things. So we give in to that thing that no matter what Yahweh says to us, it can't happen. That's natural. That's natural for man to feel that way. And I've I had that spirit that I'm just looking at the circumstances. I'm still sitting in, in prison, so Yahweh couldn't truly have forgiven me. But he's taken me through this process, through this valley, showing me how he's taking cords off me, but I can't physically see it because the only cord I can see is I'm in prison. Mm -hmm. And I'm still crying out, please accept me. Please accept my sacrifice. Please accept these prayers. But I'm sitting here and the doors hasn't opened to set me free. And I'm not taking it as an opportunity to trust in him so that I can believe that all things truly are going to work out for my good. It's going to work in my favor at the end. But I'm here today to tell somebody, to bear witness to somebody that he can work it out if you just believe and trust in him. He's proven through your life what he's delivered you from, whether it's a sickness, whether it's a debt, whether it's a heartbreak. And you are sitting here and you're watching this message today and listening to this discussion. He's brought you through that to this place. And if you're dealing with it at this moment, he's given you the strength to sit here and listen and hear that he's the one you can trust him because he has the honor. He has the character. He has the power to do what he say he's going to do. Can't nobody prove him to be a liar. And so this 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 subject is personal to me. And I can look at it because the enemy is so diabolically clever that he can make this thing, this battle, uh, it's really a spiritual battle in a religious battle. Uh, I was telling me this morning about the story of, of two kings. Well, king of Israel, king of Judah. And they had this nation that he wanted to go out in war against, but he needed the other king's help. And so the king asked him to get the prophecy and let them speak to Yahweh. And he bought all of his prophets. And they told him to go, he'll prevail. But he had already been prophesied to by the prophet of Yahweh that don't go up. If you go up, you're going to lose and you're going to die. And so the king, the other king, I said, don't you have one more that in Israel that might prophesy a little different? He said, yeah, that's one, but he never prophesied anything good concerning me that's what the spirit of Cain was doing to me no you done done too much there's no way but the the person I heard about told me that there's nothing too hard for him that if you just come and you ask and he'll give it to you he didn't tell you had to be in a certain condition to receive it from he said just come with this type of heart and attitude and i'll grant it to you but in the physical it didn't seem like it i don't want to get uh too far above the other stuff points i want to get into but this is basically the walk he's bringing me to and i want to just share that in hopes that it will strengthen somebody that if you just believe and trust, he'll grant you your heart's desire. Baruch Hashem, um, that's the problem, is the trust. Mm -hmm. We're so used to being trusting in ourselves and our own capabilities, which in the case I'm talking about has actually got us into a lot of trouble. Mm -hmm. And we don't have the solution to get out. But Yahweh has the solution, like you said. But to give up trust in the self mm -hmm. and allow Yahweh or Yahshua 
to be able to lead you out in a way that he knows is best and do that by faith, that's a horse of a different color. Yes. And to this world, that's foolishness. Mm -hmm. Well, then you relegated yourself to continuing in your foolishness because you just want to hold on to your agenda and maintain that mark of Cain, the seed of Cain in you, which got you there in the first place. So it's an insane state of mind, to put it mildly, that you think somehow that what got you into trouble is the very thing that's going to get you out. Well, if that's the case, how come many years later you're in more deeper trouble than you were before? So giving up the self, which was a hard thing for Cain himself to be able to do, is a very difficult thing. And, you know, I always say that everybody has their own rock bottom, you mm -hmm, know, mm -hmm. but the bottom line is I've seen many people that to this day, many years later, still haven't hit rock bottom. Mm -hmm. And they're, they're more they're more rebellious than they ever were before. Mm -hmm. And I feel bad for those people. Um, so going back to verse 43 here. How do you get honor, authority, and character, which is what Yahweh's name is comprised of? That's the nature of Yahweh's name, mm -hmm. is honor, authority, and character. Mm -hmm. Well, character is doing the right thing, mm -hmm. being righteous. Mm -hmm. What does Yahweh say? Be righteous as I am righteous, mm -hmm. you know? Well, in order to do righteousness, you got to know what righteousness says. Yes. Unfortunately, in this world today and in the world's religions today, mm -hmm. and I'm primarily speaking in Christianity and Catholicism, um, they don't believe in the righteousness that comes from the commandments. Mm -hmm. But there is no other source where you can go to find that righteousness. There's no other place. So if you don't know what righteousness is and you don't know how to define it, how do you know in a given situation how you're supposed to do it? How are you supposed to hear from the spirit of Yahweh mm -hmm. saying you're in this situation, this predicament right now, How this is how you got to deal with it? Well, if the righteousness is not in you because you don't understand it, how are you going to be able to hear the spirit of truth that's telling you how to implement the spirit of truth when the spirit of truth is not in you because you reject it? Mm -mm. That's a problem. Yes. That's a problem. So the character means that you're a person of moral law, which mm -hmm. is what the commandments are. Mm -hmm. And I'm talking about the whole Ten Commandments. Right. I'm not talking about the last six that the church indulges in today. Mm -hmm. You got the first four commandments, which are the great commandments. Are they kind as to indulge in them? Yeah, they don't. <laughs> it's filled with paganism. And that is sin. Mm -hmm. And so, therefore, you're defiled, and your rebelliousness to get away from that means you have that level of the mark of Cain in you, mm -hmm. the nature of Cain that does not want to submit to Yahweh as he's saying to you, this is the kind of sacrifice I want you to be, and that's being rejected. Mm -hmm. So, if you don't choose the sacrifice willingly that's being offered to you, then the, sac the, the sacrifice is going to choose you. Mm -hmm. By default, that's what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. You're going to fall into that category. So when you start keeping the commandments and you start learning about righteousness, and then you begin to implement these principles in everyday life, and you see how it plays out, what does Yahshua say in Matthew chapter 5? He who Jeez. teaches and does the commandments of Yahweh mm -hmm. is He's called great, great mm -hmm. in the kingdom of Yahweh. Mm -hmm. And the ones that won't do it and won't teach it are called less than least by those in the kingdom of Yahweh. Mm -hmm. So we have another scripture. I don't remember where it is now. I didn't write it down. But it was saying that in the New Testament, it was saying that basically when you're keeping the commandments and you're developing this character, Yahweh then imparts to you the authority to rebuke the nations. Mm -hmm. How are you going to rebuke the nations if you don't have the moral law inside of you, where your conscious mind agrees to go along with that morality, along with the inner spirit man? Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. So that the two are in harmony with each other and not repelling against each other. You can't you can't judge something if you don't. I can't go into a court of law before a judge on and defend somebody or myself in a court case in which I don't know civil law. Let's say it's civil. Yeah. I don't know civil law. I don't know how to argue argue that in front of a judge. Well, how are you going to get into the kingdom and judge the nations if you don't understand what the commandments say and what the moral law says? You can't. Mm -hmm. You have nothing in which to open up a book and say, this is what Yahweh says about this, and this is how it has to be implemented. Mm -hmm. You're not qualified to judge the nation. So you can't be a king. You can't be a priest. You can't be a magistrate in the king. You can't be anything because mm-hmm. you're not qualified. Right. But you got to give up the nature of Cain in order to attain that. And it takes time. So when you keep the commandments, what it's showing you as part of the nature of Yahweh is you operate in a spirit of authority. Mm-hmm. Now, the nature of Cain, the mark of Cain operates in a spirit of authority also. But it's, it's in a destructive sense in this world which is what a lot of people are going in by in that way. Mm -hmm. Then what happens is you get a crown of honor because you're upholding Yahweh's commandments and the authority that you're executing, which is delegated authority from Yahweh to you in a given situation. Mm -hmm. And then when you execute it and Yahweh's pleased with that and he brings it, to a fruition in which it's to your benefit, he settles the matter, then he's honored. And Yahshua is honored because you carried it out exactly the way you were instructed to do it. Mm -hmm. You can't do that from a position of ignorance. Yes. You can't. Mm -hmm. It's just not possible. So I wanted to touch on verse 43 there about honor, authority, and character because that's how you define it. And that's what these Gentiles want in their life. And that's what they're seeking after in the name of the Father. Mm-hmm. Okay, so um, you want to go up until forty-five? Did you go to forty-five? Yeah, all that covered. From you covered that already. Through forty-five. Okay. Yes. So uh, I don't. Okay, so from forty-five or forty-six 43, on, 40, mm-hmm. you wanted to elaborate on verse forty-six. On 